What do you say about Joyce Pizzi? She is a magna cum laude graduate of the class of 1991 with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Joyce continued her education and received her Master's of Science in Family Counseling from Iona College, and she is a magna cum laude graduate of the American Academy of McAllister Institute of Funeral Service in New York City. Joyce has been a leader in every endeavor she has ever taken, most especially as a counselor to those who sought help at the Center of Help and Loss in Westwood, New Jersey, and St. Anthony's Church in Northdale, New Jersey. Joyce is active in her community, a member of St. Anthony's Church, the Northern Valley Rotary, the Northdale Women's Club, and the Romanesque Lodge of the Order of the Sons of Italy of America. Joyce and her husband, Anthony, now enjoy a well-earned retirement in Naples, Florida, and they are the proud parents of Greg, of Michael and his wife Pamela, and Robert and his wife Michelle, and even prouder grandparents of Jessica, Anthony, Tyler, and Jacqueline. Joyce is the former director of the Anthony R. Pizzi Funeral Home, which is now in the good hands of son Michael and daughter-in-law Pam. Joyce has comforted many countless families through difficult times by bringing about beauty for a grieving family faced with the loss of a loved one. And so, for her dedication and outstanding commitment to service, for her leadership in her community, and for living the motto of the college, which is to enlighten the mind through truth, Joyce Pizzi, class of 1991, is proudly inducted into the St. Thomas Aquinas College Alumni Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Joyce. I was 40 years old when I started college, and fortunate enough to be able to attend a nearby private school. Not entirely motivated, I registered for two courses that were not totally unfamiliar, French and psychology. To be perfectly honest, I convinced my bright teenage son to write my first paper. I quickly learned that wouldn't fly and that I was on my own. The ability to take the courses that I wanted and needed at times that were convenient lended itself to a busy family life as well as involvement in our family business. That was when I felt that Stack was the best kept secret as far as colleges go. It wasn't very long before Stack was feeling like home. I also found the staff and faculty were more like family, that is, interested in the students' well-being and welfare as well as their success. One of my most vivid memories has to do with Sister Patricia Ann Riley. I was taking one of her English classes and one day she asked me what my goals were. I said that I needed 60 college credits in order to enroll in a mortuary school program to acquire a license as a funeral director. She said ever so softly, Go for the degree. Little did she know the impact of what those words meant. But back to that later. Another example of the interest of the teachers was when I was a student in Monsieur Denise Latour's French class. I was very upset about a serious illness of a family member. And because the teachers know the students so well, he noticed my distress and asked how he could help the warmth of stack. The 24 plus club was a great help to those of us who were over the typical student age. An opportunity to be in a group of peers and meet other people of your own age was very valuable. When I completed the 60 credits, I enrolled at American Academy McAllister Institute of Mortuary Science in New York City to begin a year of studies in order to pass the national boards and practical exams and acquire my funeral director's license. By this time, as a result of my experience at Stack, I had developed a love of learning and graduated from the program magna cum laude. But something was missing. I still heard Sister Pat's words in my head go for the degree. So I conferred with my husband and with his never failing support, was back at Stack to complete my credits to earn a Bachelor of Science degree in psychology and once again graduated 
magna cum laude. Stack had opened up a new world for me, and I still didn't feel that it was complete. Little did Sister Pat know. Iona College had a satellite school in Orangeburg, New York, and a master's degree program in family and pastoral counseling. Few courses, however, were offered locally, and every Friday I drove to the New Rochelle campus to complete a Master of Science degree in family counseling. No honors this time. I was so glad to be done. I was 50 years old. I owe my accomplishments to the teachers and mentors that I met along the way, which started with Stack, but I especially thank my husband Anthony, my three sons, Greg, Michael, Robert, and all of my family for their support during those years. I have forgotten the pressures of getting the work done, studying for tests, and writing papers. But those 10 years were among the most fulfilling of my life, and it started in Sparkle, New York at Stack.